And that was Vivant, the first single of Kiyun's upcoming debut EP, Pali Pali. After studying at France's top schools, the Franco-Korean artist started off as a lawyer. She worked for four years at one of the country's leading law firms before dropping it all to pursue a dream, stand-up comedy, drawing rave reviews. And now she's starting all over again to follow another dream, music. Kiyun is in the studio to tell us more. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Marcia, for and, welcoming me. Oh, absolutely. Congratulations. Congratulations on this up and coming EP. Uh, we were just checking out your video, uh, Vivant, uh, Vivant, which means alive. Is that where you're at with your life? Are you very much in touch with being alive? Exactly, yes. I think it's the, the main reason why I decided to, to change my, my career. And uh, when I left uh, the lawyer thing and uh, to become an artist and uh, to dedicate my life to creation. First to stand-up comedy and now music more because music was already there when I was doing my stand-up show. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, that's the main reason I think. Mm -hmm. And you talk about a lot of this idea of uh, that you know death is something that awaits us all in one form or another. Is that something that drives you in your creative? Yes, a lot because yeah, when when you have to 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 talk about uh, being alive, you know, it's because it's opposed to to yeah the idea of very short life and the death and like waiting for us somewhere mm -hmm. and um, I think it's not that sad actually it's uh, um, a way of uh, enjoying life like fully yes making the most of it um, exactly. now the EP is coming out on the 18th of January and it's called uh, Pali Pali which means quickly quickly in South Korea yeah. exactly yes yeah. uh, that's parent, uh, where your parents are from uh, why is there a need for speed Will you not, do you not want to take things slowly would you rather go fast in life well it's not fast in general it's fast about that thing that we were talking about like the end is coming pretty i think quickly so mm -hmm. we have to live and enjoy life quickly as well yeah. i think like uh, it's coming like uh, without like um saying i'm coming so yeah. i think we have to to be very aware that it's very short yeah. so that's why i say quickly it's not about being like fast in life but uh, <laughs> no it's more good. about the fact that it's I think shorter than we think. Yeah, we never know when it can end. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at another track of yours that was released a few years ago. It's called L'amour avec une brique. Uh -huh. On dirait un gros choco bon Tu fonds, mm, mm, c'est trop mignon J'ai très envie de te dévorer Par petits bouts de manger tout entier Mais tout d'abord je dois te séquestrer T'attacher Je t'aime tellement que j'ai envie de t'amputer les paupières, de massacrer, de dépousser, de gifler avec. L'amour avec une brique, uh, Love with a Brick, uh, by Franco Korean artist Kiyu. Now, uh, it's a song that appears at first look very sickly sweet and it's kind of draws in this sort of you know like in the 60s those sort of music but the the lyrics are pretty dark um, yeah. you know i i love you so much i want to cut your eyelids lids off and that's yeah, quite awful. A dark humor um and you were performing it initially as a uh, jeune bonbon um tell us a little bit about how you did this leap from you know comedy into music was it just natural or it's very natural and actually that uh, music video and that song was really the the, the bridge between uh, both uh, carriers and both uh, yes uh, things because uh, when I was doing my stand-up show I, I I was singing that song in the end of uh, the show and uh, people were enjoying it very much and uh, me as well mm -hmm. and I was like really into singing but uh, I didn't think at that time that I was able to sing or to pretend to be a singer and um, uh, one day a very good friend of mine who was a producer she she came to 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 attend the the, the show and she told me I think that the the moment you're the most the the happiest mm -hmm. is the moment w w when you sing and um, and she was right so I decided to to like to put everything on the, this uh, path and uh, 
Mm-hmm. And so, so you've really, myself more in uh, music. And so you've cut music. off completely comedy. It's just the comedy's been infused into your the lyrics and the videos that you make for yes. your... Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, now, uh, you know, we, what advice would you give someone who wants to make those radical changes? Because it's, you know, you have to be pretty brave, you know, especially here in France, people tend to sit with the same job their whole or same career their whole lives. So for anyone who's watching and would like to like suddenly snap out of it, what would you recommend? Mm, I would... Well, uh, I know it's uh, well, it was very hard to make that decision, but I think that I had to like close my eyes about everything because if you like start to think what uh, are the consequences of everything, it's like too scary. Mm-hmm. So stop thinking and just uh, maybe um, imagine that um, the last day of our lives. You know, the only person you have to face is yourself mm-hmm. and your mirror and say, what did you do with your life? Mm-hmm. Have no. you been happy? Yeah, no, that's exciting. Also talking back, at the, being you being the business, you're surrounded with really good people. Uh, you mentioned your friend who came to your show, uh, but also you teamed up with, uh, with Sylvie Aro from Brigitte. Yes, you know, I was so lucky. I met uh, Sylvie Aro. She's mm. the half of uh, the very famous band Brigitte. Yeah, who are very, I was, yes. very much loved here in France. Exactly, you know? yes. I was already a very huge fan of uh, what she was doing uh, within uh, Brigitte. And when I, I met her, we... We became friends, actually. We had a lot of uh, in common, and uh, she kindly accepted to help me on my project, and uh, she produced uh, all the, the music of the EP. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she gave me all her knowledge and uh, expertise, and uh, mm. it was really uh, wonderful to work with her. Yeah, and you've also worked with esteemed uh, French uh, singer who's open for uh, Benjamin Biolet. What was yes. that like, going on big stages with those sort of established artists? Wow, it was amazing. Amazing. I, actually, it was amazing, like in my real life, because I received like messages from my friends from kindergarten. I think because yeah. Benjamin Biolay is a really a huge star in France, huh? like uh, so many fans of uh, him. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was a big step. Um, I think in my life to, yeah. to be able to meet him for the first time and to sing with him on stage. Well, before him, and uh, I'm super grateful. Yeah. Okay, and uh, well, just finally, very quickly, uh, after stand up and music, any other next things you'd like to, to do? Well, I, know, I think uh, I'm very excited about like making this uh, EP like yeah, come, leave come and to life. come to life exactly. And uh, I really hope that people will uh, enjoy this uh, music. It's really, I think, something I, I created and I wrote with uh, my heart. And yeah. uh, I think I hope. It will touch people. Yeah. Well, you can take your time to enjoy it. Uh, We're also going to enjoy some of uh, the new releases that are out this week. We're going to start off with British singer-songwriter Benjamin Clementine. He's releasing his first studio LP in five years. The Mercury Prize winner recently appeared as an actor in Denis Villeneuve's film uh, Dune. He and his new records, And I Have Been, was conceived during COVID. And Clementine is calling it part one. The tip of the iceberg, which it set the scene before the second one, which will be deeper and out next year. Here's the track, Delighted to Whet Your Appetite. In the land we earn, we turn, we burn. We lean, we learn, we earn, we turn, we burn. Then start again. Because we're delighted. Let's uh, move on to our next artist, who is a popular and outspoken Russian rapper, Oxymoron, whose real name is Miron Fyodorov. He was re- he has released a new album called February 23. The title refers to the day Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Oxymoron was quick to speak out against the war, calling it a catastrophe and a crime. He subsequently left Russia and gave a series of concerts in Turkey, Britain and Germany, entitled Russians Against the War. A few days ago, Russian officials added him to an updated list of foreign agents. Here's his title track that already has millions of views. 
ты не занят и здоров, и на кармане есть налик. Это чертова полоса препятствий, чё-то такая ерунда, и чё мы там не видали. Что еще нужно для счастья? Ты не занят и здоров, и на кармане есть налик. Это чертова полоса препятствий, чё-то такая ерунда, и чё мы... Хлопья пол с молоком на белый двор ледяной. В Европе холодно, в Италии темно. And that's all we have time for. Thank you to my guest, uh, Kiyun. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Marjorie. Yeah, and be sure to check out her new EP, Pali Pali, which comes out on January 18th. And in the meantime, listen to her debut single, Vivant. For more arts and culture news, head to our website and keep in touch with us on social media. Stay tuned to France 24. More news coming right up after this. The last news of the day. Twin sisters, pop duo Tigan and Sarah are back with a 10th studio album, Cry Baby, which marks a mature musical return to their indie pop rock roots. The 42-year-old sisters are singing about growing out of an adolescent mindset and fumbling into an adulthood that was postponed for years by their own success. Let's check out their track, I Can't Grow Up. Take me to the edge. Shoot the map. 